Hi, this is Nino from Cinema 5D. We're here at Cinegear 2018 with Sony, and this is John Landau, the producer of Avatar. Yep, and then here we are with a, a brand new uh, camera system that uh, Sony has created for us in adapting their incredible uh, Venice camera, Cine Alta camera, into one with a separate optical block. And, and this is what enables us to actually do the 3D filming with the same flexibility and, and uh, ergonomics that we could do a 2D movie years ago. Amazing. So uh, you worked together with Sony on, on developing this version of the Venice, specifically for Avatar 2 and 3? Well, what we first did is we first determined what camera system we wanted to use. And we were so impressed by the high dynamic range, the, the level of black detail, the whites, how they maintain their detail, and the skin tones, we chose to go with the Venice camera. We then started working with the engineers and said, here's what we need as filmmakers in order to make a 3D movie for Avatar, which is a world you want people to get immersed into, and they've given us technology that allows us to do that. Amazing. So this is taking 3D to the next level. You know, it's taking 3D production to the next level. You know, to give us the flexibility to be on handheld rigs and uh, steady cam rigs, and the, the rig will, for 3D will be under 30 pounds with two cameras and a whole dynamic rig. So just to compare, how did you do the 3D on the original Avatar? You know, we used uh, one of the earlier Cine Alta cameras, and we approached it the, the same way. Uh, the reason that was a little bit easier for them to do back then, you weren't pumping the, as much data through the line that you need to. The idea of being able to take a camera that's capable of 6K, high dynamic range, and pump that from the optical sensor back here, uh, that, that is an en engineering achievement. Yeah. So when will this be available? Do you know that? Or is this just a rental item? Or how is Sony going to distribute this camera? You know, uh, Sony, that's up for them to determine. Yeah. Uh, we will be using ours beginning in December. Awesome. And uh, is that when you start shooting? Uh, we start shooting in the beginning of the year. We'll be doing our testing starting in December. Okay. Very cool. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Have a and good day. Yeah. Good. Have a good shoot and looking forward to Avatar 2 and 3. Thank you very much. <laughs> So I'm here with uh, Peter from Sony. Hey. Thanks for having us. Uh, yep. We just talked to John Landau about uh, Avatar and you know the new Sony extension system for the Venice. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about the technical details of this new system? Right. So in collaboration with Lightstorm, in collaboration with uh, John Landau, James Cameron, we developed the extension system. So as we were mentioning earlier, uh, ten up to ten foot for the for one version and up to twenty feet for the other version. The way that it's going to work is the sensor block itself, not the whole, not a processing unit or or, or anything else, just the sensor block can be extended from the body of the camera with just a couple of screws and, and a small procedure to be able to detach the sensor block and then you can extend it all the way out to 20 feet. Um, the advantages there are huge, right? Drones, gimbals, handheld, steady cams, uh, tight confined spaces for mounting, uh, remote mounting and so forth. I mean, pick your poison, I mean, just imagine where it could go. Uh, it's almost endless, right? It's uh, about three pounds in weight, and the, the really cool thing about this is it's only the sensor block, as I mentioned. So you've got the eight NDs, the optical NDs built in to the front, the front block, so you can still change remotely the NDs, so you don't lose that capability. And, I mean, it's, it's a great, powerful feature that we were able to, to develop, and that's what we announced today. So you basically have a DSLR-sized sensor exactly block. Right. It, looks, it looks like a lot like a DSLR, actually, <laughs> the, when you have it in your hand. Yeah, you're exactly right. That's a good point. And again, the weight is about three pounds for the block. And as we know with the, the lenses, you, you can use extremely lightweight lenses of any type and, and, and mount. And if you remove the PL mount adapter and go with the native E mount, it becomes even lighter. So it's a no-brainer, you know, and, and people say, well, drones, what are you talking about drones? Well, you can, you can still fly a drone up to 20 feet, get the shot that you need at that level of picture quality with this system and change the NDs and use a small drone. You don't have to be using a massive drone to put the entire camera system on to be able to achieve the same level of picture quality, right? You can use a much smaller drone, which has huge cost savings, which obviously yeah. speaking, right? So, but you can't fly very far, though. No, no, no. Like <laughs> it is, no, but but in many cases, yeah, obviously. But yeah. in many cases where you need to achieve a 20-foot shot, right? Why not? Why not do it? Yeah. You know. So it's it's just another option, right? Mm -hmm. So it is it is working. The, the 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 strategy right now is to demonstrate it as a concept get feedback from the filmmakers here at the show, see where we need to go with it. Do we need to make refinements? Does the cabling need to be repositioned from the block? So on and so forth. So we're still soliciting feedback about the system. So it's in concept stage, uh, but but it's working. I mean, it's it's been developed, so. And this will be an alternate version of the Venice? Or? No, no, no. You use your existing Venice camera, 
with your existing sensor block and you'll be able to extend out with the, the cabling. At least that's the plan right now. Okay, so and you send it in for modification? No, 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 no. no. Oh. You do it all yourself. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's very quick, it's very easy, uh, very simple to do. That's the plan right now. That might change, but at least here at the show, we're demonstrating a, a self a self-driven mode of, uh, of, of you know, implementing it. It's just a, a block, uh, a, a front plate you put onto the, yeah. the, camera, the camera body. Uh, you take the sensor block off, connect it on the other end, and, and you're good to go. Cool. Do you have, have any information about pricing and availability no, yet? No, that's part of the feedback we're getting at the show. What should it be? How, you know, how much should it yeah. be? Again, other changes do we need to make? You know, we want to collaborate with filmmakers, right? We want to make sure that it's it's properly designed, targeted, and, and so forth, that it does what people need it to do. So feedback is a big part of it here at, at Cinegear. Very cool. So obviously the world has been waiting for Avatar 2 and 3 for, what is it now, 10 years? <laughs> and uh, it's quite amazing to have the biggest franchise, the film franchise in the world, uh, filming on a Sony camera. How do you feel about that? We are tremendously proud. We are tremendously excited about it. Uh, we had a lot of conversations in collaboration with Lightstorm, with James Cameron. Uh, he gave us a lot of feedback in developing the extension system for the Venice. But we were really excited to hear that with very rigorous testing from Lightstorm, you know, James' company, that they thoroughly tested many different cameras including obviously the Venice, and they, they determined that it had the best picture quality, the best ergonomics, the dynamic range, the color science, and the, the list just goes on and on and on. So they came back to us and said, Venice is it, this is an amazing camera, let's work together to further refine you know, features, firmware, and then of course the extension system. So yeah, we're, we're over the moon excited about it. You also announced a couple of firmware updates uh, that are coming, we did. so can you tell us something about that? We did. So the version 2 firmware, which we had previously announced with some very powerful features that people were waiting for, variable frame rate from 1 frame to 60 frames is being implemented in version 2, the high base ISO 2500 mode, which a lot of people are waiting for because they're, the word is getting out that it's actually a very clean, as you saw, a very clean uh, imaging capture mode, um, and, and a lot of other features in version 2. The big news about version 2 is that we're advancing the timeline. It it was originally planned for August, we're now moving it up to the beginning of July. Uh, that is a result of you know, filmmakers saying, I've got to have variable frame rate, I've got to have 2500 ISO, I need it now, y y you have to make that happen. And so we dedicated more resources to making it happen and moving the timeline up, timeline up into the beginning of July. Mm -hmm. So that's version two. The next big news that we announced here this morning is high frame rates. That's another huge feature that everybody wants. So we're confirming, we did confirm this morning that we will be implementing high frame rate in the Venice. It'll be up to 60 frames in, in 6K, 3.2 mode, up to 90 frames in 4K, and up to 120 frames in 2K. The timing of that is still a little bit TBD, but we're targeting spring of 2019. We're gonna try to do it earlier, but that's currently the timeline, and it'll be an optional, it'll be an optional upgrade for customers. Details about that, We'll, have, we'll get more into that later. Uh, but we wanted to confirm this morning that yes, we will be implementing high frame rate. And no, you do not need a new sensor. You do not need a new sensor block to implement high frame rates. That's something that we want to squash right here now with you guys, because <laughs> there's rumors running around from, I'm not going to say who, that are saying that you have to have a new sensor for high frame rate. You do not. Okay, so just wanted to get that out there. Okay. All right. Thank you, Peter. Thank so you. we check out the camera at the booth again yes, in a bit more light yeah, outside. Yeah, exactly right. And uh, yeah, thanks for the interview and thanks everybody for watching and stay tuned to Cinema 5D for more news from Cinegear 2018.